I have this picture in my head where the back of your head is filled with like all this great stuff and then there's like a tiny window and you have to like crawl in the window and then grab as much stuff as you can and then crawl back out the window and like give it out and it's so hard to do and like sometimes you have to like dig your creativity out not many people can grasp it but if you have that gift that's like so beautiful to me my name is Gabriela Diaz. I'm 21 years old and I am originally from South San Francisco. So I was born in Mexico and I do remember life being different. It wasn't like here where like everybody's so disconnected and distant, have a routine where you like wake up, go to work, go to bed, wake up, go to work. It wasn't like that, just alive, more human interaction. It was just like a culture shock for me, especially being really young when I came here. I would like get picked on and stuff because I didn't speak English. It was weird because people who were my race and looked just like me and spoke Spanish also spoke English. And so it was confusing to me why everybody was speaking this weird language, especially because I'm first generation American. Both of my parents were born and lived in Mexico till they were adults. Being here and not understanding the culture and be, and having parents who don't either. My parents expecting something from me that I can't deliver because I don't know that culture and I don't know this culture either. So I kind of had to like manage what I could pick up from both. My high school years were hella hard. So South City High is, it's a good school, but I personally was like an unhappy student. I just did not want to be there. I would never go to school. When I was a sophomore in high school, I moved to SoCal. I got to experience like this huge school. And it was like super school spirited. Everybody loved going to school there. See like the, the pace of these people's lives was just like such a shocker to me. Even though I was only there for a few months, and coming back here, it just the world seemed like so much bigger to me and like I got to realize that South City wasn't the entire world and I wasn't like in this black hole that I wasn't coming out of. Like if you change the way you look at things, the things you're looking at will change. Recently I started filming and like I get to do it on a larger scale. It's a little bit scary because you know when you draw in your notebook or you write in your notebook, nobody's ever gonna see it. But when you're filming, the point is for you to show it and that's hella scary to me because as an artist, you're never satisfied with your work. So every day I feel like I need like a lot more experience, but right now I'm getting, I feel the experience that I do need and I'm excited for my progress. A lot of the reason why I do film and why like I'm interested in music is because of the people who I run with. They're really passionate about it and that, that gives me like a good influence. My parents have been really supportive of me and they like respect my hustle, what I'm trying to do right now. And I mean, film is not very lucrative, like especially in our generation because everybody wants to do it and then nobody wants to pay for it and then everybody wants to overprice what they're doing. That All that being said, my parents are still hella down for me. Like they bought me a camera, they bought me a MacBook and they like believe in my vision. And to me, that's like significant. Right now, I'm fortunate to have my grandma living with me, so it makes it that much more like comfortable. This really feels like where I'm supposed to be. For me to be successful, I feel that I just need to stick to it. I never thought I'd be able to graduate high school, and I did. I never thought I'd make it to college, and I did. The fact that I know that I'm gonna find this artist or find this person or find these group of people that are like gonna believe in me and I'm gonna respect their art and then we're gonna get to make something happen. Like that's where I identify. I can work alongside like so many talented people and I feel like if I stay true to myself and not lose inspiration, then I'll be fine. Like that's what keeps me going through the day.